Hey there, Elder Statesman back here again. And uh, today we have a deck tech. So this is a, day, a deck I'm calling Flores Drakes. I got it from a Mike Flores article. Um, I have tried playing the Drakes deck that uses the Terramander, and I have not gotten good results. I just cannot seem to win with this. And uh, Mike Flores' article basically said that, hey, maybe that's not the best version. Maybe we should be using the version we were using before. Um, so this is based on a tournament deck from before um, Ravnica Allegiance came out. The only change is it's adding a Blood Crypt, um, where before there was the the, the check land, the red black check land. Um, this is mainly just for the discovery dispersal. Um, so basically, what we have here is we still have the Enigma Drakes and the tra Crackling Drakes, but instead of the Terramanders, we've got the Search for Ascanta and the Niv Mizzet. Um, and so we're playing a slightly slower game, but we've got a better late game because of it. Um, a lot of times the, the Terramander, if you play it out early, it just dies. Um, and if you're holding it to play it so you can play it and adapt it right away, um, then usually you're in the range where you could have just played it Niv Mizzet anyways. Um, so for this deck, I don't think the Terramander is as good. The Mono Blue deck, it's better because um, you want to play it on turn one and then put a um, Curious Obsession on it and attack, and it's great for that. But I think this one, uh, this version with the Niv Mizzet, um, has been working a lot better for me. Um, I think I'm winning about, I think I'm right now at like 64% of my games. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to jump in here. We're going to play about three games. Here, I'm in the uh, Diamond Rank. Oops right now. I'm in Diamond 4, so I'm getting close to hitting Mythic. Um, I've been playing this deck a fair amount, and I've been playing my Gruel Aggro deck a lot, and I probably next week will have an updated deck tech for that. I made some changes to the deck that have really improved, and I'm winning right now 75% of my games, and that's in um, Platinum and Diamond level. Okay, I've got mana, I've got the opt, I've got some early game. These are key um, if you run up against uh, the red decks, you need a way to interact with them early. So we're going to keep this. I think I have to play this. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pay the two. I could play a turn one mountain and shock, but then I wouldn't have anything to play next turn. This gives me the option to shock and opt or play lava coil. Um, and do that. Um, we'll go ahead and take that. I'm looking to kill something that's a little higher power. Like, that would have been good to kill. I'm going to have to Lava Coil that. So I'm going to shock a Firebrand. And we're going to opt... Go ahead and keep that. Um, I already know I'm playing Lava Coil, and I don't have any other good place. We're going to play that tapped, and we're going to get rid of that Chain Whirler. So now when we do play the Drake, it's going to have a decent power. It'll be able to block and kill something. Most likely it's going to eat a Burn Spell and take out a Firebrand. That's fine. Let's 
Got the burn spell there. Yeah. We'll get the Drake first. I'd rather have him killed that than my Crackling Drake. And then that will allow me to opt. Oh, if he uses a Shock and a Wizard's Lightning or Double Shock, that's fine too. I'm perfectly okay with that. Doesn't leave him with a lot of gas right now. Oh, Experimental Frenzy. He's gonna lose that Wizard's Lightning though. That's pretty good, so we need to start getting some offense going here. So because we're playing for niv in endgame, we want to keep drawing land until we get to six. I've got one of those in my hand already. Play that tapped. That uh, experimental frenzy is gonna kill us. Let's see what we can get here. Um, I'll take a Drake as a blocker. Let's go ahead and put that in the graveyard. I don't think this is going to be enough. I think the car drive from that experimental frenzy is going to finish me off. Yeah, it is. Yep. That card right there, that was what killed me. Okay. Jump into the next game here. Um, I'll keep that. I got turn one shock, turn two discovery. I just need a second red source to get the crackling drake into play. Okay. So not mono red. We'll get the discovery out. We'll save these for later turns. Um, I'm gonna keep them. I gotta keep both these for now. I can play the Drake next turn. Or I can shock and opt and draw into. Let's see, so this looks like he's some sort of control deck. If he's not playing any creatures yet, so we'll get my Drake into play now. Then I can turn on Charter Course. Oh, okay. So just a little slow. Okay, I want to leave the mountain. Nope, leave the mountain untapped.
play that. Okay. I've got a shock to take out the knight. I've got a spell pierce if he tries to play another history of Benalia. and opt in to turn to try to get another red mana. Oh, I don't know a way to counter that. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, do I want to put that on the bottom? I mean, I'd rather get the red mana. But this, at the moment, is just as good a threat as the Crackling Drake. I'm gonna keep it. I might still draw the red man off the top of the deck. But this lets me uh, chart a course and still play the Drake. That's pretty good. Oh, lifelink, okay. That's also pretty good. Okay, I need red mana. I'll take a lava coil, though. Get rid of Shalai. And I will leave the uh, spell pierce up. Could stop like a Johnny or something like that, potentially. Can't stop that. Gonna take out this guy. I don't want to give him the block, the flying blocker. But this gives me lethal next turn if he can't kill this or come up with the flying blocker. Man, I really need another source of red mana. Okay, good enough. Okay, and we'll play one more here. I'm going to keep this. I like the search, for, having the search for Esconta. Um, I go first, so most likely I'm not going to have anything to shock. I'll keep the opt for turn one so I can try to draw into another land. Or two. Okay. Nope, we want land. Land. That's not land. Really need this search to get us a third land. Discovery, okay. I was afraid of a thought erasure, but... Interesting. Oh, graveyard that. Give me land. 
Yes, thank you. So did he put a he did he put a hydroid crisis in the graveyard. He needs so this could be like Sultai mid range. And he just doesn't have any green mana. Well, this could also be like a, a Demir control that splashes green. Um, I'm gonna graveyard that because what I need now is a second red. Be like a Demir control that splashes green for the Hydroid Crisis. Plus, this will eventually turn into another blue land, so I really just need the red. Okay. Um, I'll keep that. Because it's just as much of a threat as the Drake. I have to run out of removal eventually, and then hopefully my Drakes can start getting in for damage. Plus, the more room. Oh, interesting. Hard. I'll give him the moment of craving. That doesn't really kill anything of mine. Uh, library. Definitely want that. But I need to kill Karn, so I need to Discovery. I don't think I want this shock. I have one in my hand. I'll keep the Niv Mizzet, because that's going to be a strong card. Stop. Okay. There is always another fight. Well, I've got a handful of threats. I just need the lands now. At least I can start playing these. Oh man. Well, there goes my Nib Mizzet. Graveyard that. Because I want land. Uh, yeah, I'll transform it. Oh, hey. Okay, so that's a terrible way to tap. That's still a terrible way to tap. I need to leave the sulfur falls open. Because I could draw... That it could draw into a one drop. There you go, like a shock. So at this point, if I draw a land, I'm going to play the Niv Mizzet. Um, I won't have any way to protect it, but. They don't seem to have any removal spells, because they haven't killed any of these. And I don't want it to get hit by a Thought Erasure. Who Spell Pierce will protect it. I don't have the land to cast it, but... Um... No, again... Man, this, their tapping thing is not working real well. Why did it do that? Oh, I had to tap it that way. Well, that was my mistake. Uh, let's see here. And I got double spare spell pierce. I don't have an island left open. So that could be a costly mistake there. 
Yep, because I could have spell pierced that. Um, yeah, I'll take a chart, of course. What do I get rid of here? Oh, I don't have to get rid of anything. Never mind. Do I want a discovery? I think I want to leave the spell pierces up. Because right now I'm lethal. He has to kill this. Yes. All right. So there we go. That's the uh, the Flores Drake's version. I like the Nivmizid version. I like the search for his Conte, it really helps a lot. Um, and it's just, the deck, I think the deck plays better when it plays a little bit slower. It plays more for the mid game. And the Terramander kind of has you playing a little faster, trying to take advantage of that. So, anyways, um, if you liked the video, please hit like and subscribe. Um, comment down below, let me know if you've had any success with the Drake's decks and what version you're running. Um, I will have a, uh, a draft video for Friday and next week um, I'm going to be making a push towards Mythic. So I'll most likely be showing you my updated rule aggro deck that's been doing really well. Like I said, 75% win rate so far. Um, it has a really good game against Mono Red. Um, but it's also almost as fast so it does really good against the mid-range decks because of that. Um, so I'll be showing that deck off again and try to see if we can hit Mythic on camera. So I will see you on Friday.